Hey, in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what is credit, how credit works, and why do you need credit. Stay tuned. So this whole topic came up from a conversation me and my brother was having about credit and being able to purchase products for your business and different services. So, you know, I was telling him, hey, well, I might use cash. I might use uh, different credit lines. I'd rather product lines. And he was like, well, don't you have credit to use? And I was like, well, I, I don't think I would use, you know, the standard credit for any of these transactions. And he said, do you know what the real meaning of credit is? I said, yeah, but do you know what the real meaning of credit? So I asked him to go ahead and explain what was credit. And he told me, he said, hey, his definition of credit is uh, um, money. You know, you're able to access credit to get money. And I said, wow, that's just only one part of it. So what I want to do is explain to you what is credit. So credit is the ability to borrow money, products, goods, and services and and the ability to pay it back right so that's what credit is that's what credit means so another function of credit is that lenders and different merchants are able to look at this to determine if you have credit credit worthiness your ability to pay is there and it's reasonable in order for them to extend their services or goods or even let you borrow money this is something that they use a profile that's built up and it allows them to make determinations on if they should let you access capital goods or services plain and simple right is it that simple let's see how does credit work so credit is a financial reputation management system so it allows lenders and um, anyone who's looking to extend you credit or do business with you in order to gauge how you're spending and borrowing the money and how you're repaying so it's very important that you, you look at all aspects, especially if you're going to a bank. It's also measuring exactly, you know, what type of business you've done in the past to see exactly if you will be capable of repaying a debt in the future. It's also a measuring system for uh, different institutions in order to do business with you outside of financial um, efforts such as goods and services. They also look at that as a reason to do business with you or even if it's not business such as rent a center, um, a reason to extend you a credit line um, as far as like furniture or anything in that manner. So a lot of individuals only think of credit as one thing and that's money such as installment loans, service cards, credit cards, charge cards, but credit is a lot more, um, especially when going into business as well, or you know, even in the consumer side, uh, doing loans, credit is looked at in a way to gauge exactly what they can do for you. Um, even if you never had the type of credit extended, they'll look at you know a multitude of accounts and, and count that into the ability to extend you some type of uh, um, if it's like loans or, or help. So why do you need credit? So before I answer why do you need credit, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, also comment below. Tell me exactly what do you think credit is used for and also, you know, thumbs up this video. But why do you need credit? You need credit because credit is looked at in more than one aspect. So it's also looked at when you're going to, let's just say you're about to rent an apartment, landlords look at it. Um, if you're about to buy a house, then obviously the banks look at it. Or let's just say you're probably looking for an, um, a new job. Now even employ employers are looking at your credit as well which, you know, I don't really like that part, but they do look at this. So it's very important that you actually pay attention to your credit. If you do want to check on your credit and your personal credit for free, there's a link below to nab.com. You can go ahead and check it out, sign up. The link is free. If you do upgrade or do anything else, you know, there's a charge, but I will stick to the basic plan for now. If you're just doing just just trying to check your, your credit on a, on a regular, or if you're trying to check your personal and business credit, link is going to be in the description okay but very important to stay on top of your credit because that's the only way you'll be able to make different decisions on the fly especially if you're in need of some type of credit and you know i always say this this is 
I normally tell everyone, you have to use it responsibly, but you need to be aware of what's on your credit, even negative items, late payments that may be on it. If you never knew that, it's it could be on there. But the biggest thing too as well is I do have a free book. You look in the description for that too as well. And if you do have any discrepancies that you want to get off your credit, I do provide a free guide. That is a book that I wrote. I'll leave the description below, but sign up for that and I'll give you a free copy of the book. But that's the ending of what is credit. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.